setting up a turn edit assignment can be very helpful as they check for plagiarism. To set one on, turn editing on, on the top right corner, then click add an activity or resource on the box that you want to add it, so every box has add an activity or resource, then instead of an assignment upload, which is the other possibility, turn in, use turn it in assignments, click add, if it has a red asterisk, you have to fill it out, so test paper, test. The summary can be just the description of the assignment. Submission type, usually you use file upload, however you can have a text box that people fill out and that will also be checked for plagiarism. Here you can determine the number of parts, so if they have five files to upload, you can determine here that they have up to five files to upload. The file sizes are up to 20 megabytes, which is usually not a problem for Word documents and PDFs. They're usually not bigger than that. If they are, then maybe they can submit it in parts. PDF editors and Word documents can be split into parts when they're being saved. It can be helpful for students to be able to see their reports so they can improve upon their submissions. So you can allow that if you want to. Then, if you want to allow late submissions, you can do that as well. Here, usually, I tend to prefer that reports can be overwritten, so that basically a student can modify their submission and resubmit if there are any problems and there's a red flag and basically the student seems to be plagiarizing. You can exclude bibliography if you want to. I tend to leave it there. Enable Erator Grammar Checker. That can just be helpful. Um, you don't have to use it, but I tend to enable it just to see what comes up. It can be helpful for the student. Um, here you can use restriction dates. However, there's another set of dates you're going to have to enable later, so I would actually leave this one blank. Save on display. We click Save on display because there's something still we have to do, and that is to set the dates for the assignment which are different from the restrict dates. These dates apply to the Moodle interface, but remember we're interfacing with another platform, which is Turnitin.com. So to change the Turnitin.com dates, we actually have to go here and click the little pencil and set this date. So start date, due date, post date. Uh, I'm going to leave those since it's just a demo. Synchronizes with Turnitin.com. So this is when it's going from our interface, sending information and the changes to turnitin.com. If somebody wanted to submit a paper, they would have to submit paper. As an instructor, I can submit a paper for different members of the course. In this case, um, Brittany Edwards is the only student registered in this course. And then when students submit papers, they'll be in the submission inbox. You'll have the paper similarity, and this will be color-coded. If it's green, that means there's not that much of a plagiarism problem. And you'll have a low percentage. It gets all the way to red and red can be that there are serious plagiarism problems. You can click on it and it'll take you to turn it in where you can make your own assessment. But I'll cover that in another video. This is just a video of how to set them up and how uh, you have to make sure you set the dates within turn it in in the second page, in the internal page, after going through the whole assignment setup with, uh, at the beginning. So then click back to the course site and if we scroll down We'll see that now we have that test paper right there. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because that was just a demo, but that's how you set up a Turnitin assignment. Thanks.